Hello, I'm Isabel and welcome back to Learn With Liberals and today I'm going to be doing a studio video and I'm going to be doing them on the new bonbons that I'm making which is quite exciting, I've wanted to do them for ages. Um, so I'm making some this week uh, which are going to be for Father's Day which is on Sunday um, so Father's Day will have gone when I share this video because I do everything in advance now. And yeah, I thought I would show you how I paint the moulds. So I have these moulds, which look like little whales, <laughs> or teardrops, or they're actually called gossip, which is quite interesting. Um, and then I also got these, because I'm going to be making these kind of pendants which I hang, um, which look really nice. So I'm going to be doing them for Christmas or different occasions, birthdays, whatever really. Um, they say I love you on them, which is quite sweet. And I might get some others um, which say different things, but I'm just gonna start with this for now. So um, today I've chosen to do um, blue, a few different shades of blue and silver. And then I'm gonna do dark chocolate as the shell. And then I've got a ganache, which I already made, which is like a berry, mixed berry, uh, butter ganache, uh, which is really really nice, and I like to use butter ganache for lots of things including my cakes. So I've got my uh, dark blue here and my white, and I'm going to make a pale blue. I've already polished my moulds um, quite a lot, and I've already um, I've also used uh, alcoholic dipping solution on that just to try and get it as um, sort of clean and crystal as possible. So this is the blue that I've made up. I like to use this brush with this mould because you can get in it really well. So just gonna go like this. I have to be quite quick to do this because I don't have, um, I'm doing everything very old school, like over a Bain Marie, um, so it all sets very quickly. Take a quick. So I want to coat most of the mould, so I'm going to go again, I'm going to melt these. So now I'm just going to go on the other side of the mould because I want to get everything. I want to have the whole forgot one, thing covered. This brush is really good because it goes in all the crevices and cracks. Yeah, this one is a bit darker. So each time I'm doing, I'm changing the brush a bit to fit the part of the mould that I'm painting on. That's why this brush is really good. So it can adapt. one on its little head, little whale head, and then I'm gonna go just sort of twisting it a little bit as I pull it out. Okay. 
about it. So that's the first layer. So our first layer done. And then what I'm going to do <laughs> is I'm going to get more of this dipping solution. And I have this that I just always have and it goes dry and then I put a little bit on here, the palette. And then I'm just going to freckle it, speckle it. And turn off. I don't really want very much on there. Just a bit. So then. Just to make sure that we're getting in all the cracks in the whole mould. A little bit on its tail. I don't really mind if you get a few bits that where they're not meant to be because I like everything to kind of, you know, be as neat and as nice as possible, but also like natural and authentic. I like the watercolour and slightly abstract look. Nice. And then I'm going to get my dark blue, and I just had a little practice here. 